What's up, Aries? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. We're just going to tell the story today, Aries. That's what we're going to do. I feel like you... It's not over. Something's not being let go. But there's a reason that this chapter still feels open for you be connected to a fixed sign Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius and your subconscious is like you're looking at something that you built or that you invested time or energy into and it got pretty far and you're trying to decide But it's hard to plan in the midst of confusion or there's a lot of different ways that this thing could go. I think you're looking at all of that. It's almost like I want to communicate. Or there's a lot of things that we could do. Or this decision could be happening in the next few days. But what if it doesn't work or it's not working and I should really stop thinking about it because I'm probably not going to get back what it is that I already invested into it or if I invest anything more into it. Because perhaps the person connected to this isn't what they need to be in order for it to work anyway. So it's like it can't work if we're, bo if we're both not pulling the weight. This is what's going on in your subconscious. It's like you're contemplating something. And I think that I could be connected to a Virgo. The bad is outweighing the good in this situation. Somebody may be unreliable. And it almost feels like there's a teacher-student dynamic between the two of you. And you might be the teacher. The song that's playing right now is called The Ship Has Sailed. So, in your conscious mind, you're hip. You're hip to what's going on. You know that there's something that you're trying to make happen, but you look good. You look good. You have options. You're confident. You're aware of whatever this is that's not over, though. But you're not keeping yourself trapped in it. Not in thought. It's not like consuming you. You're not waiting for it. But you just are aware that it's not over there's someone who wants your attention okay someone that you walked out on somebody that you don't trust anymore somebody that broke your heart but they feel like yeah this is the same person that's in your subconscious you don't see them as a reliable source. It's like, if I go back to this, it's the same thing. But this person wants to... They want to be up in your space. Let's say that. And they're on your mind, Aries. But it's like you're, you're wise about it. There's... You're hip. I'm just getting that you're hip this time. I know that this person isn't really intentional about what it is that they actually want. They just kind of want to be over here. You know what I mean? But the last time they were over here, they took me for granted. But then at the same time, they don't really want to... They don't want nothing. <laughs> I have this thing where I always... Um, if I'm dating somebody, I'm always like, what do you want? 
And it's not that I don't trust the person. It's really like a joking thing, but I ask myself that too. The same way I always say to y'all, what is the feeling you're looking for? All of that. Oh, what is it? What you want? And the ones that I knew wasn't shit, I'd be like, you don't want none. I might still entertain it for a little while, but I knew there was expiration date. That's what's in your conscious mind right now. You know the right thing to do. You don't have to convince yourself. Uh, you don't have to convince anyone that you're good enough, you know, for commitment or marriage or anything like that. And you know that the person that you're dealing with, they won't, they want a buffet. <laughs> or at least they think they do. <laughs> yeah. Reoccurring thoughts and fears. They love you more than you know. But I think that you are finding the good parts of being separated from them. Or continuing to remind yourself of why it's good to let go in this situation. Because you know that going back won't work. That's the bottom line. Your high conscience, you know that going back won't work. Somebody's incapable of seeing it. From your point of view, you want to be comfortable in a relationship. You know, you don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, stop waiting for them. You know that love is what you have to give, and you want stability, and you don't need to carry more from this relationship or this interaction with you than necessary. You want to carry the lesson. You don't want to carry any burden. So you know, if you go back, it's just like. Okay. So, it's best to isolate yourself. Go on with the lesson. Hermit and the high priestess, honey. Don't move forward with this. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Perhaps even, like, cutting communication with this person. Could be a Gemini. Some of, yeah, this person came into your life and they... And, and your schedule got messed up. Maybe your weight changed. Um... If you stop talking to a lot of your friends or maybe they noticed a difference in the communication between you two. Work could have been affected. All kind of stuff. And you're not supposed to come into my life and mess things up. But certain energy can do that. And you don't even know why things are starting to like go wrong or you may not even notice it until <laughs> you notice it. And that could be looking in the mirror. That could be looking at your bank account. And you're like, what the hell happened? The person in your energy, Aries, they, in their subconscious, they're undecided. That's why they don't do anything. They just lurk. They don't know what makes them happy. It's almost like they've even thrown in a towel when it comes to actually making a decision on what it is that makes them happy. All they know is that they want to resolve something. They want the attention. But they don't know from who. <laughs> Whoever's door is open, honey. And then they move very quickly. And then they walk away. And they just invest here and there. Almost like um, a day trader. <laughs> it's giving day trader. I'll put some in a bit. Because day trader is not about the long game. We're not talking about... Um, you know, mutual funds and, like, residual type of. This is like, I'm going to throw into this coin today, pull out tomorrow, and then I'm going to wait till about 
something and then I'm going to hit it and, you know, fleeting is the word that comes to mind. Again, like, really not capable of seeing things the way that you do. And you, maybe you're just not compatible. There's a part of them that scares you. It scares you. You don't need that. November could be significant. It's like they're better they're better at work at working. Again, student, teacher, parent, um, parent, child type of dynamic. Um it could be a Taurus in your life too. He's in the background somewhere, he or she. What they're thinking about? <laughs> person loves you this person in their conscious mind they love you you know they want attention from you maybe there's even something that they would like to confess to you could be an apology or just communicating with you but they lack hope they they don't think it's possible or something like that so it's like they give up before they even try they do feel love out here. There could be a connection, another connection that they were in, possibly with Gemini, with the lover's card, but there was another connection they, that may be what they want to tell you. Maybe they went back to in another connection here, 10 of Wands. They broke up with somebody. Wow. They got a lot going on. They think about whoever they broke, you know, broke things off with. They think about how they didn't love you the right way. They think about how they possibly missed out on an opportunity with you. They think about all of the disconnects. The the connect and a disconnect that they have in their life. The the chaos that they've probably created with that, you know. There is another connection here. These two are not in a passionate place anymore. Air sign energy. They're wanting to evolve. They're wanting to something that's going to grow. I said that in Libra's reading. What are things that grow? I think they're they're looking to get into that but their higher conscience knows that you gotta go back to you gotta go back to one stop wasting your time putting seeds everywhere honey you gotta put something somewhere and and water it <laughs> watch it grow it's not it's like a message about instant gratification. Because that's what this person is really on. You know. Lost. <laughs> you gotta let go of some of these to get a victory. We want a victory, but you can't get a victory with... What is... What am I trying to say here? You end up... What is this about? They know that okay, this dance that they're doing. I said that y'all was doing a dance, but this person's doing a dance too. I think you two attracted each other because you both was doing the dance. And by that, I mean, you know, playing the field. I think this person is thinking about commitment. It's like, I know that I'm not ready. First of all, this is a knight, so. It's not a king of pentacles, it's a knight of pentacles. So it's like, I still got some growing to do here. 
I know I'm going to have to slow down and really think about how I'm going to plan my life with a person if that's what they want to do, but it's in, it's in their mind. So they know that they're going to have to let go of some options to these other people. And there's one, there was a main situation that they had going on. I know that I'm going to have to be honest, but I'm still going back and forth with that one. Because I got a little bit of control issues. That's why I keep going back. But every time I do that, it's like I'm choosing to disappoint myself and to disappoint other people too. Knowing that I'm only going to give up on the situation. You know, it's like they're dealing with themselves, dealing with their stuff. They're going through their stuff right now. I do feel like this person is to determined to have you at times. Something about that is like at times. How you feel about this person? You don't trust them. Five of Swords. You feel like um, they a little cold, you know? Inconsiderate. Go around hurting people. Every time you come back, it just hurt again. It's real sweet, you know. And then you give me something else to heal from. You, there's a bitterness here. You just feel like you want this to stop. How they feel is they want to... I think they want to tell you why things ended or what happened here, but they, they don't have no motivation. Or they... Why is that here? It's like they don't have the motivation or the courage to make this thing happen. They know that they're going to have to look at things from another perspective, like sweep their front porch, you know? They know that they're going to have to stop wasting their time. They're afraid to come tell you what it is. It's almost like before I go, let me say what I got to say. They want another opportunity with you. But before it's too late, or something like that, before you go. They're going back and forth. They're not communicating yet because they just feel like, you know, they feel like you've given up. So they just kind of stay in their head about it. It's a defeatist attitude. The mutual energy between you two is really not knowing whether or not you should walk away from each other. Not really seeing any other options to come back and repeat this again. Is the other person still holding on? It's like there's this person makes me happy. There's a Leo. This person makes me happy. I'd probably be better off on my own. I'm letting this go. But I would like to end the conflict between us. <laughs> it's like you both going in circles with it, you know. I don't think you're necessarily ready to let this person go, but the the it's like the communication. There's no flow. There's something that doesn't flow between the two of you, and that's the part that you like. I just can't. I can't do this anymore. You may have felt like there was some blame game stuff here. Y'all had a friendship though. It's like you 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 wanted to share with this person. And you feel like you want, you were wrong. Maybe you were wrong about something about this person. It could be, I was wrong thinking that this was good or I was wrong thinking that this was bad. I'm not sure how that goes. I think you want to tell them how you feel. But you're not afraid to lose them anymore. You knew this person was in another commitment. They know that you look at them differently and they hate that. 
they feel like the tables have kind of turned in this situation. They want to make things right with you one day, but they're, they're just waiting on a sign. They know you don't trust them. They feel you leaving. They feel a, they, 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 they're in a much, they're in a better headspace, but there was somebody that, There was somebody that this person was dealing with. They told you it was just a friend. It was more than that. And they're only sorry that they got caught. <laughs> so it's kind of like they'll, they'd rather forgive and let go. Um, you two have a musical connection as well. They just don't know what to say. They tried to replace you. It didn't, it didn't go well. They're sorry they couldn't follow through with the promises, you know. I just wanted to look a little deeper into you guys' love life. It's like, you two go together like gin and juice, but somebody want to go together with too many people. <laughs> There's a past life relationship, finances um, that are affecting the connection between. It's not going to allow things to move further between the two of you. Something from somebody's past and something about finance and career. Is keeping you two from moving forward together. And you do deserve love. So you need to free yourself from this one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, honey. If you, especially if y'all are not tied by finances, kids, and all that kind of stuff. Because this kind of energy is what... It's what takes the energy that you need to be creating the life that you deserve. Okay, Aries. I'm going to leave it there. If you would like to donate to the channel, please check the comment section for that. My PayPal information is there. You can also hit the thanks button below. If you would like a personal reading, check the description box for that. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.